Hey, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. It is a beautiful morning. Beautiful morning. Good morning to you. So I have a question for you before you roll into your weekend. When is it the absolute best time to get in shape? That's my question for you. That is the million dollar question. When is it the best time to lose weight? My name is Mark Avens. I'm your Bulletproof Christian Fitness Mentor. And if you are getting on here live, say hello, say live. Uh, you probably are not. Maybe you're sleeping in. I don't know what time it is, 7 a.m. I think it's around 7. That's when the sun's coming up. But we're here early. I love early mornings, love the beach. There's nothing, let's see here. There's nothing more that I love. Sorry, I got disconnected. There's nothing more that I love in... Uh, and my passion is truly in helping you succeed in your weight loss journey. And you want to know when's the best time, when's the absolute best time for you to lose weight. And to be honest with you, it was 20 years ago. You heard that, you heard that saying, when's the best time to plant a tree and it's 20 years ago. When's the second best time and it's today. So I'll just have to tell you that it was just a little bit of a trick. I did trick you a little bit. Yes. The best time to lose weight is today right now start losing weight right wouldn't it be ama amazing if in this next season of your life right no matter how crazy and messed up this world is right now can you imagine this next season of your life that you can get off of the weight loss journey can you imagine for once there's a lot of people i talk to they say mark i've been on a weight loss journey for just far too long it's been years 10 years 15 years 20 years and uh, something that I've made a mission in my life is to help over a thousand people. And I have over the last 26 years, I've been doing this. It's not my first rodeo, so to speak. Been doing this for quite a while. Absolutely love it, absolutely love it. It has its own challenges, but I do know that um, life has challenges, right? And you can either run to them or, or run away from them. Now listen, if you've been running away from your weight loss challenge and you're still struggling and you're still stuck, you got to ask yourself the question, okay, Mark, maybe I've been struggling for the last 10, maybe I wish I planted that tree where I took better care of myself, so to speak, and, you know, took advantage of my youth back 10 or 20 years ago when I thought things were really hard and life was hard raising little ones, kids and a job and, you know, all that stuff when you're in your 20s and 30s and now you're in your 50s and you're like, oh, snap, it's a lot harder. It's a lot harder. It's the absolute truth is a lot harder, but... Just as the saying goes, the best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago. The best time for you to have gotten in shape and gotten off of a weight loss journey is probably 20 or maybe even more years ago. The second best time is right now. So that's my question to you is if you have been struggling and you are stuck, you can plant a tree right now. In fact, that's one of the most amazing things that I love to see is not so much that people are struggling. Of course, that, that's hard, right? It comes with the territory. People talk to me about all the things they can't do, all the, you know, the bad feelings they have and emotions about themselves and their health and the way they feel and their body image and emotional scars, you know, whether they're long, you know, maybe they've been for years and years and years and decades, or maybe they've just been like this last, you know, this last year and all the struggles and the world and all that kind of stuff. And it's stressful, right? I get it. It's hard. It's hard. But what you could do is think about, well, okay, I didn't plant that tree, so to speak. I didn't get the weight off 10 years ago or 20 years ago, or even maybe last year, but you can start right now. And that's what I want to give you hope for today, especially going into the weekend, because I know for a fact, a lot of times a weekend can be come people's biggest weekends, week and they can get weak, right? Especially if habits have been built up over the years. I know, I know it's hard. I know it's a, a struggle for a lot of you. And that's why I actually am still doing what I do because there's still people and possibly you who need the help. And that's what I've made my mission now. I don't know if you're one of those thousand people or more who need help, who are ready to get the help. But if you are, I want you to reach out to me, send me a private message with the word transformation, because here's what I'm realizing. You don't want to just lose weight. Like, I don't know anybody that tells me, Mark, I just want to lose weight. They did tell me I want to be healthy, but that really isn't the true story. Yes, I know we all want to be healthy, right? That's kind of a no-brainer, uh, especially in this world right now. But I would say is not just to be healthy and not just to lose weight, but just think of what happens when, when you plant a tree. Think about this. If you planted a tree 20 years ago, let's just say it's a fruit tree here. We live in Florida 
And if you plant, if we planted a fruit tree 20 years ago in our backyard, and we don't have enough sunlight in our backyard, but let's just say we did. And we planted a fruit tree, maybe an orange tree or, or maybe a lemon tree. I know our neighbors have these big lemons in the backyard. I'm so jealous. I have to ask them to go and if they share. And they usually are my, they don't mind sharing. But anyway, um, say we planted an orange tree or a lemon tree in our backyard. Chances are, 20 years later, there'd be some nice fruit. There'd be some great fruit, the things, right? You can enjoy. Well, now I'm here to tell you the good news is, unlike a tree, if you get on your weight loss journey now, it's not going to take you 20 years if you're doing the right things, if you have the right structure, if you have a good plan, if you have great support, maybe even the coach by your side, hint, hint, to help you along this journey so that you can get off of the weight loss journey once and for all. My, my goal for you is for you to get off the weight loss journey. Let's get on a health journey, a fitness journey. Can you imagine, say, six months or a year from now, and you're maybe right now struggling with 40, 50, maybe even up to 100 pounds. I've talked to a lot of people who have in excess of 60, 80, 100 pounds. And can you imagine in a year from now, like several of my students have over the years, have developed the habits, the skill set, they've had the program, the plan, the accountability, the support that they need to not only lose weight, but to get off a weight loss journey. Oh my gosh, can you imagine the, the load lifted off of your shoulder, shoulders and your body when you have the weight gone for good and you don't have to think about losing weight ever again? Wouldn't that be amazing? Well, as you go into this week, and I want you to know, even if you didn't plant your tree 20 years ago, and even if you don't have fruit, if, even if you maybe we're not so good at losing weight for the past 20 years. The good news is it's not going to take you 20 years. It will take you 20 years if you keep doing it the same way you've done it for the last 20 years. But if you're ready to get on a new path, a new journey, I want you to do yourself a favor and not wait anymore. This year, I know it's coming close. August is going to be gone. Next thing you're going to know, it's going to be the holidays. And then you'll be able to use that as an excuse. The next thing you know, it's going to be another year. And then in January, it's going to roll around. And you're going to say, goodness. This year is going to be my year. Well, guess what? Right now, today could be your day because even though you didn't maybe plant that tree 20 years ago, the second best time is starting today. So anyway, I hope that helped. And if it did, if you're catching this on the replay, hashtag replay, so I know you watch it, I know you follow it. And listen, I'm doing a little cleanup. My friend list is getting a little full here. A lot of people that, yeah, you know, come and go, come and go. It's just how it works in social media. And I'm gonna do a clean sweep and remove about probably a good thousand people in here. Again, just other than that to make room, cause I only have so much room uh, to make room for people who are looking for help. Cause again, even though this is social media, I do use it as business media. And I want you to have an amazing blessed weekend. Reach out, send me the word transformation. Let's get you on the right path. Let's get that tree planted now, today. Okay, not in another 20 years, not when it's 20 years harder. Right now, today. Take care, God bless.